Okay, so I'm just going to take Mike's uh, arm here and sling it across my leg. Come in like this because I want to kind of block that first rib. We'll show you an image of what this first rib looks like. Many of you are not uh, even certain what a, a first rib should look like and feel like when it's elevated, but very commonly the anterior scalenes, which is used for inspiration, uh, taking a big breath, will get stuck. That first rib will come up and it will not want to come down and you're going to have a lot of pain and discomfort. And I'm going to translate Mike over. Translation. Watch what happens when I translate him. When I translate him over, it causes it to come him to come into my hand, and I'm coming in at this angle right here on that first rib, right, Paul? Right. This is important right here. I come under his arm, right? Right. That's real important because that arm is going to get in your way if you don't move that arm. Look at the fingers. Look at how he's holding that. He's still using the same translation technique. He's going to be kind of pulling toward Mike's right chest at a translation, so he's going to get the table where he wants it. Now look, this is. I've got to have this kind of grip on Mike's first rib, a real soft finger pad grip. So you just keep it soft, and then I'm going to side bend Mike left, which is on the side of his dysfunction, rotate him right. That's non-neutral mechanics, we talked about that, non-neutral mechanics here. And so now I'm going to, to ask Mike to gently push his head to the right against my resistance to a count of five, two, three, four, Five and relax. When he relaxes, I slowly take him back into more left side bending and right rotation.